Radioactive water leaking from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant has earned the operator a reprimand. You know the routine. In the kennel. Go on. It was the second seepage from the plant's desalination equipment in less than 10 days. Tokyo Electric Power Company says about 30 liters of water leaked from the device, but it remained inside the facility. The outflow was stopped after valves were tightened. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency warned TEPCO against using the equipment. You let it happen. The agency also asked the company to investigate the cause and take steps to prevent a recurrence. Earlier this month, about 150 liters of water containing radioactive strontium leaked from the same equipment into the ocean. Very disappointed. You're in the penalty box. The Fukushima government has released some results of radiation health checks in the prefecture. The information shows the external exposure levels of most residents near the damaged nuclear plant are low, with little health impact expected. Now you can't run a Geiger counter over someone's lung on the outside to determine if they have a hot particle because those particles, those rays, don't travel outside the body. They do their damage to the local tissue. The prefecture has been checking the health of its nearly two million residents on Tuesday. And on Tuesday, it released the estimated external exposure levels of about 1,700 people from three municipalities des designated as evacuation zones after the nuclear accident. Fukushima says 97% of people are thought to have been exposed to less than 5 millisieverts of radiation. Of that number, 63% have received less than 1 millisievert. The country's permissible limit is 1 millisievert per year. Nine people are thought to have been exposed to 10 millisieverts or more. Five of them are nuclear plant workers. The highest level recorded was 37 millisieverts measured for one plant worker. The results show the exposure levels of most people were very low. This is a reassuring message. There is no immediate health concern. You're lying. And I know you're lying. I'm not shitting you. That's how absurd it is. Now what does that mean? That means that that hot particle gets absorbed in your lung, or it winds up in your intestines, or it winds up in your muscle, or it winds up in your... I want you to look me in the eye, Nippon. Right here. Now tell me, when did you find out Nate was investigating the fund? I first found that Nathan was conducting the investigation after I spoke with you after he was killed. You're lying. And I know you're lying. Oh, you know it, huh? Well, you could read my mind, Roman, is that it? No, I'm not. I'm reading your eyes. The eyes can't lie. Didn't you know what I was doing? A quick lesson in lying. See, this is what us real cops do. We study liars. Example. If I ask you a question about something visual, like your favorite color, and your eyes go up and to the left, well, neurophysiology tells us that your eyes go in that direction because you're accessing the visual cortex. Therefore, you're telling the truth. If your eyes go up and right, then you're accessing the creative centers of the brain, and we know you're full of shit. Uh -huh. Now, let's try this again. What's your favorite television show? I'm not going to play your stupid fucking game, okay, Roman? Oh, why me, Bob? You afraid we'll catch you in a lie? When did you find out Nate was investigating the fund? <clears throat> After I spoke with you. Whoa, that is a fucking lie if I've ever Fuck seen you. one. Never even blink my eyes, you scum. You didn't have to blink, Nebom. It's your body language. It says you're lying. He's nervous, Danny. What do you expect shut from him? Shut up, Frost! You know how this works. It's not just your eyes, Nebom. It's everything. If you cough, sneeze, uh, cross your legs, scratch your ass, they're all telltale signs. You can't cheat. You can stare at me with those dead-ass eyes of yours all you want. You can't beat the system. 